it's Professor Gator 2 gamescom here, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about writing. So as you all know, it is NaNoWriMo, NaNoWriMo National Write a Novel in a Month. So, um, I have been writing a lot, and I've noticed something about the word said. So, when you're reading a book, for example, um, I bet my Warrior Super Edition Blue Stars Prophecy has the word said in it many, many times. So when you're reading it, the word said is pretty much invisible to you. Like, you just see the dialogue, you and you comprehend that. You don't comprehend the fact that she said that. Um, so that's just normal. People put said in books a lot. But then when you're writing it, it feels really weird to put she said, she said, she said, he said, they said. It's just so weird to have so many saids in a book when you're writing it. Um, and same with reading it aloud. Um, reading aloud your work helps you so much, um, and that's what we do in a writing class that I take called Druid On, where we share all of our writing and then we play Dungeons and Dragons pretty much. Um, we play a Dungeons and Dragons type game after that, but first we share our writing, and our writing is converted to currency. And you have to read your, you pretty much have to read your writing aloud, unless you're sick. So it helps so much hearing how it says, because there can be really weird word clumps. Um, especially what I do when I am stuck in writing is I go back and add more to the scenes that I've already written. So it's going to be like, she walked over to the door and sighed. She walked over to the door and opened it, sighing. And then a few lines later, she opened the door. So it just helps a lot to be able to read that aloud. And it does reading things aloud does the same thing as said. Like, she said, she said, she said, she said. Um, I'll make up like a conversation. Hello, she said. Hi, he said. Like, you'll hear said every time and it'll start to bug you. Um, so some advice that I actually got from my writing teacher was that, um, 15% of your dialogue should be said. Another 15% should be like replacements for said. Like she growled, she barked, she screamed. These things should be 15%. And then the other 70% should just be actions. Like, um, I'm glad I caught you before you left for work. She grabbed the cereal from the top shelf. That still makes sense. Like you can still tell that she's saying this while doing the action. And I think that's really good advice. I've been doing that recently. And it definitely brings more life to the book because you're seeing what the characters are doing. Instead of having a big thing of dialogue and then the characters move, like they're standing like, I can't do that because I'm gonna be off camera, but like, hello, how are you? I'm not doing anything. Well, if you say action, so they're like, she opened the door um, while saying this, blah, 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 she opened the door and it just makes it so much smoother and it makes the characters look like they're doing something instead of just what bugs me with a lot of books is they just stand there and talk and they don't do anything throughout the entire book and then st problems start happening because they just stand there and talk throughout a lot of the book but putting these actions in um make it seem a lot more realistic because people do things people mu multitask while they're talking people will talk to someone while they're cooking people will talk to someone while they're playing a game. People will do these things instead of making it seem like it's just one conversation. And I think that's some of the best advice that I've had for my book. Um, and I've just enjoyed it so much. It's really amazing um, advice. So I think a lot of people should start following that just to make the word said. You have to use it. You have to use it a lot. Because if it's just like in a book, it's like she growled, she barked, she screamed, she did this, she yowled, she whined, she... I don't know, cried. It's just gonna, you're gonna not, it's just gonna get like so boring and a bit weird. Just like, they're saying these things in so way. This is a big problem with My Immortal, actually. Um, the infamous Harry Potter fanfic, Hello, My Name is Ebony Darkness, Dementia, Ravenway. Um, because there is li like a line of dialogue that is, hey, she said flirtily. Hey, he said sadly. Hi, she, she yelled. And like this just goes on and it makes it seem that the dialogue is really weird because it keeps changing my voice like, hey, hi, hi. Like it's weird. Their voices change a lot. So um, using said is just like a neutral tone. Like I'm saying, I am saying things using said right now. I'm not yelling. 
Um, I'm not really doing it. Well, I would be kind of lecturing, but um, this is just neutral tone, which is should be a lot of your book. And putting actions can actually give off a tone. Like, if someone's eating cereal, whoa. If someone's eating cereal, the camera's gonna flip upside down. Um, but yeah, like I said, if someone's eating cereal, um, obviously they're not going to be saying stuff in complete monotone, and that kind of gives off a vibe, and I think that's just really good for dialogue. Um, it just ranted about talking characters in books. I'm sorry, I write dialogue a lot. That's one of my strong points, um, is dialogue, because when I started writing, I would have a friend write the other dialogue. I've done this with a few different friends, um, but mostly with this friend where, and I share this giant world, and... She'd write her characters. Like, for example, there's a character, um, this is the webcomic verse, by the way, called Paxi. And Paxi will be talking to her older sister, Amber, which is my character. And my friend would write Paxi's dialogue, and I would write my dialogue. And that's just started off making dialogue feel really natural, because it's as if, as if we're having a conversation to, with each other, um, because each write dialogue is written by someone else. And that's where I got started with writing dialogue, and I highly recommend that as an exercise. Do you have writer friends? Do you have a friend who happens to write the occasional story? Write a dialogue scene with them, because that helped me get my dialogue a lot more natural, because it's actually two people talking to each other. Um, and then I use a similar tone in all of my writing. So, yeah, dialogue is really important for a book. A book without dialogue um, would actually be kind of cool, but that's just because it's unique. It would be a bit boring. So, yeah, I am ranted about writing for a really long time. But, yeah, if you want to see more of me ranting about random stuff, please like this video and press the subscribe button. We were talking about doing more of this, just me blabbing on about random things. And so if you liked it, press the like button and subscribe. And comment down below what your favorite part of this is. Did you think it was too rambly? Do you think I talked about the same thing over and over again? Just give me your feedback on these videos. So, yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! That feels too ranty.